Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Crap. We gotta get out of here with our Magitek armor. We're just fighting other Magitek armors, nothing hard. If you do anything but sit still, you'll be fine. Just pick any command you want. Technically, Bolt Beam is the way to go to get out of here, because we're fighting uh, machines. So, there we are. You've made it right back to where you started, Sabin. We gotta keep on going away from Narsh in order to get to Narsh? Well, I guess Doma would be occupied by now. It is, just so you know. If you go over there, it's occupied, so you can't do anything over there. How we were supposed to go through Doma to get to Narsh to begin with, I don't know. But now we gotta go south, and you know what? I want to rearrange my equipment a little bit because now I can give Cyan some better stuff and I want to save for a very specific reason that I'll be uh, telling you in just a moment, viewers. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's take a look at our setup here. Uh, the only major change I made was I gave the Atlas armlet to Cyan. I think he could use it a little more. Uh, it's not a real big deal. Anyone should be able to kill just about any random enemy in one hit here. And yeah, let's take a look at Cyan's sword text now. Uh, his level 1 attack, sword tech, which is what we should be using basically all the time now, is Dispatch. It uh, ignores defense and hits a single enemy at random. Should be able to kill anything in one hit. Slash is like a demi spell. Retort is a counterattack, and, and he'll counterattack the next thing, guaranteed, um, uh, until he does something else. I mean, even defending. So, it's useful in certain situations, but not regularly. Uh, yeah, and I put Cyan in the back row there because his sword techs are independent of his row. By the way, uh, you may want to save fairly regularly now because Shadow can uh, randomly leave the party a 1 in 16 chance at the end of a battle after the Imperial camp part. Before that, he couldn't run away, but now he could just leave just because, well, he darn well feels like it. So, there you are. That's just the way Shadow rolls. Go seven. Yeah, those guys are weak to Holy Elemental. Or Pearl Elemental in this version. We can't have anything referencing religion like Holy. Can't have that. Death is okay, though. Poisoning a whole bunch of people to death is okay. But Holy? Oh, no. We can't have any references to goodness in this game. Let's try that healing pool again. There we go. See, go this way, avoid the false exits. Huh. Did I take a wrong turn? Oh, no I didn't. I can tell. Oh hey, there's a train here. We can take it right to Narsh. Apparently not. Let's take a look around. Shadow can't leave the party now, by the way. Just so you know, viewers. Let's get on board. Sir Sabin. <laughs> oh yeah, he w technically he would be Sir Sabin because he's part of the Figaro royalty. Or would he be because he, well, he's not really part of it anymore, but uh, I was about to say something that could spoil the plot, but eh. Haunted train, huh? Uh-oh. Yeah, we might want to get out of the train. Uh-oh. Phantom train. To the other side. I don't want to go there. I want to break through to the other side another time. Okay, well, I guess we got to find a way to stop the train. Man, I hate this place. I'm telling you, viewers, I hate it. It's a hostile environment. I'm unprepared with ghosts who probably want to kick my ass. It's like being back in high school. We got bombs to deal with. Uh, kill them in one hit. I, I suppose, theoretically, they could explode, but uh, I've never seen them do that here. Now well, let's talk to the ghost. Sure, why not? It's a meat shield. Uh, just a ghost with no name. I'm gonna call him Casper, because he seems kind of friendly. 
Well, let's check out the caboose of the train. There's a save point if you need it, and a hidden treasure! Yeah, you just face the corner there, and there's a treasure there. I don't know if that's a glitch, like the way it worked in Final Fantasy IV or something. I don't know, but there you are. What is an impresario, anyway? Uh, my vocabulary is just off lately with this game. Oh, Woolsey, you and your dumbed-down censoring translations. Okay, so how do we stop the train? Oh, yeah, we can't stop it from the caboose. Silly us. Oh, right, we don't need schedules. We're dead already. Okay. Let's see what this switch does. We're dead. What difference does it make? <laughs> I love his facial reaction. Scared? How dare you call me a coward! Yeah, okay. <laughs> How could you tell? <laughs> oh, Cyan, that is just the beginning of why he's one of my favorite characters. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, we could get another ghost if we wanted to. Like if Shadow left our party, but now he's stuck with us here. For, well, reasons you know why now. Uh-oh, we gotta navigate our way through these ghosts here. And another new enemy, Whisper, uh, again, weak to, uh, uh, oh, uh, holy elemental stuff. So, there you are. But, you're fine there. The ghost has a possess attack, which basically possesses the enemy to die again, I guess. I don't know. Now, which one is the one I'm looking for? Better use a save states. All right, I found the right one on my first try. You can get some potions... Uh, tonics, some other stuff that you need. Uh, maybe get, eh, let's say 15 potions. Why not? Because I don't have any healing besides that, really. Don't talk to the other ghosts. You'll have to fight them. Not that I'm afraid of them or anything. Ooh, scary. And, oh, another new enemy. Still going. Uh, yeah, all the enemies here are undead, but we can basically kill them in one hit. Now, unfortunately, our ghastly friend here, not too useful on the offense. He's just there to basically suck up some HP, and then let's say I run into four enemies in one battle, I guess possess an enemy and be done with him. He won't stick around forever anyway, so don't worry about it. Assuming that ghosts still have gender make little baby ghosts. Let's see, huh? Oh, there's a door here if you can't tell. Well, there we are. What the? No escape. Huh? No escape. What's going on? Uh-oh. All the ghosts are catching up to us. What are they gonna do? Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Especially for those with little money. Why did that happen in that game anyway? That little money glitch, you know? Where the text was scrolling a little slowly? Does anyone know technical technically why that happened? Uh-oh. We're trapped now. How are we gonna get out of this mess? Well, you'll have to find out next time! Uh, no, no, just kidding, viewers. We're, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. hi -yo! Go, Sabin! Alright! Nuts. Well, we sort of got away. Is our ghostly friend going to be helping us escape? Or, well, <laughs> look at the ghost reaction there. <laughs> I love the surprise emote in the game. And here's a couple new enemies. Overmind. 
I think that's about all the new enemies around here. These guys have a little bit more HP than the average bear, but we'll be fine. I always used to think the smoke above their head was their face, but you can see there's like a little skeleton guy with a cane there, and that's his breath. That's actually the light blue stuff there. And we got two cherries. Does that do the job? Hey, hey, all right. We disconnected the rest of the train, and now those guys are never going to be able to rest in peace. So how will we stop this train now? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. This is really the end of the episode.